Hey, what's going on, everybody? That's what I'm talking about. It is Saturday, Mar uh, February 5th. I was trying to jump ahead a month. <laughs> the year is not moving that fast. It is February 5th. It's about 8.45 p.m. Eastern, and I hope everyone is doing well out in Arvanot land as we get ready for a little more of this as we return to the land of the golden sun, the sun that is golden. We will have more suns that are golden and golden suns. I am very excited for this um, to get back into this game, and I hope you folks are doing well. Before we go any further, just a couple of reminders about ways to support us here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to follow us here on the channel. Please check out our YouTube with the exclamation point ARVTube, and please subscribe to us over there as well, because we're trying to build that up to 1,000 subscribers. We are up to about 809, 810 or so. But we would love to get more people over there. It does not cost you anything to do that, but it definitely helps us. So please consider doing that. That would be much appreciated. Exclamation point arvcord is our Discord channel where you can hang out with the Arvanauts in between streams. Exclamation point arv tweets is my Twitter where you can always follow me where I go live. And listen, I was followed today, folks. I was followed today by Sergeant Slaughter. That's right, Sergeant Slaughter of World Wrestling Federation, former World Wrestling Federation uh, you know, champion. So I just want to be clear about this, that if you want to be part of the Cool Kids Club, you too want to follow someone that Sergeant Slaughter has followed. <laughs> I have no idea why, but all of a sudden it's just like, I saw that Cat Rambo has been followed as well um, by Sergeant Slaughter. But I was like, look, if Sergeant Slaughter wants to follow me or whoever's running his Twitter account, I listen, I'm all on board for it. So um, anyway, this is very exciting. So you can, you too can be part of Sergeant Slaughter's group uh, by following and bring me up to 1,200 followers over on my Twitter. And of course, the website for this is arvinelleron.com. On the financial side, exclamation point to Arv Shop is the merchandise area. You can get stuff for Infinity and Beyond, Adventures of Middle-Earth, soon to be the Esper Genesis stuff as well. And of course, exclamation point uh, Arv uh, Treon is the Patreon, which is basically the financial backbone of the channel. 20 patrons, 198 per month. We are really trying to build that up even further. So please consider jumping on board and uh, getting us back over 200. Cool stuff for yourself and for the channel, including inspirations and the like, uh, to help our tabletop players. And while I'm on that subject, uh, by the way, we're going to talk more about those players because subbing to the channel allows you to get those custom sub badges and emotes and also lets you get inspirations uh, to help our players, which is always appreciated. So please consider jumping on board to do that. Uh, and uh, so there's that. On the publishing side, exclamation point, um, Arv, uh, we've got a bunch of those things, exclamation point Icarus for my Icarus graphic novel from Athis Arts, the amazing Athis Arts, exclamation point library is Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library, that is my 5e adventure and source book from Alligator Alley Entertainment, and both Athis and Alligator Alley are going to be involved with my Grayshade Kickstarter, exclamation point Grayshade KS, big things coming on that front, by the way, we are going to be uh, having a discussion with the principals of this on Monday uh, night, which means that in all likelihood, either Tuesday or at the latest Friday, uh, I will be announcing the official dates for the Kickstarter. Now, you already know that Icarus is going to... Icarus, yeah, Freudian slip. That's already launched. You already know that Grayshade is going to be published on May 31st, and the Kickstarter was coming shortly thereafter. Um, now, I am happy to say that it will be coming definitely in, uh, almost certainly in the summer months, and perhaps even closer than that uh, to the release of May 31st, but more details will about that will be coming up on Tuesday. So we will have official dates. These dates are not going to slip, by the way. They are the dates that we are sticking with and this long winding road to get uh, Gray Shade out there uh, in the IP form uh, that I was hoping for where we're launching an IP and not just the novels on their own. That's going to be very exciting and that's coming soon. So exclamation point Gray Shade KS for details about that. As always, exclamation point BLM, Black Lives Matter, very important to affirm and assert the significance and importance of black lives. And exclamation point help now which is the World Health Organization page on suicide prevention. Very important to reach out to others when you need help and to reach out to others when they need help as well. Now, a couple of quick notes about schedule. We've got Golden Sun going on tonight. Tomorrow, we have the, I can't say premiere because we already had session zero, but session one, the first gameplay session of Girl by Moonlight Fractal Spire. You will not want to miss that for those of you who love uh, the Strange Friends and enjoyed watching uh, the Blades in the Dark Case of the Cindered Seal campaign. 
which has now come to a close. Those players are back. Uh, Girl by Moonlight, Fractal Spire is getting ready, and they have been, let me tell you, they have been very chatty, uh, all the players and, of course, uh, Brandon, on the uh, Discord channel for them. So I am very excited to see how this uh, plays out tomorrow. Um, but I also want to p- highlight just one other thing about tomorrow, which is that the uh, fundraiser to benefit the Quebec Cancer Research Foundation, um, I actually don't think it's called that. I think it's Quebec Cancer Research, I believe. Anyway, uh, that has been going over on GOGCOM's channel, uh, which is where, of course, as you folks know, I stream once a week. And um, to uh, benefit that foundation in honor of uh, GOG streamer Dialad, who sadly passed away last year from uh, stage four breast cancer. And I was a part of this last year, and I'm also going to be a part of it on Sunday um, because on Sunday uh, we are going to have, I'm just going to jump over there quickly, on i just want to see what they're up to yeah that's what i thought cool all right i'll come back to this um because on sunday we're going to be doing the gog showdown which is basically a big trivia contest i'm going to be on somewhere close to three o'clock i believe is the current the current time frame that they're looking at so you can go over there and cheer me on and see whether i can actually win these trivia questions or get destroyed very early on early and often uh, depending on what happens but that's going to be happening on sunday it's a trivia contest that we do a couple times a year usually uh over there and uh this is going to be very exciting because i believe if i'm not mistaken pyron j did all the questions and it's going to be all of us at various times versus pantsless aaron who is usually the host for these things now pantsless aaron is a world-class video game trivia expert so it's going to be tough but i will do the very best i can and all of it of course is being done to benefit uh that foundation and so far as i pop over there they are up to 5805 uh, 01, so $5,805 and one cent, 77.4% of their $7,500 goal. And of course, they're going all the way to the end of tomorrow. So they look like they're definitely in striking distance of that $7,500 goal. So that's great. And I want to make sure that everyone is aware about that. So that's going to be happening again. The fundraiser will be going on all day tomorrow and tonight, actually. Uh, so you can watch me and then go over and watch them. Uh, and then it's going to be going on all day tomorrow as well. Uh, and then when I jump on board, um, and do my part at three o'clock or whatever it'll be going on afterwards so i am excited for that and then i believe it is at 7 p.m eastern although i can't remember if it's 6 or 7 p.m eastern tomorrow is going to be the speculate uh session one thing that i mentioned of girl by moonlight fractal spire so we've got that then monday night we have got bag of giving uh the charity event that we are honored to be able to sponsor over here um to host over here they are going to be on our channel on monday evening uh with a game of masks uh, with Dong One Song as your GM. So you will definitely want to make sure that you are here for that. That's going to be good times. I will not be running production on that. In fact, I will be driving home listening to it because I will be on my way back after having taught class um, that day. So uh, that is going to be production run by one Brandon Crilly. Um, very excited to see uh, how and listen to how that all plays out on Monday night. Then Tuesday, we have a big day. We have got, I believe, the game book illustration stream in the afternoon. Still getting that confirmed with Terry Tune. Then at 4 p.m. Eastern, we will have some D&D with GOG Ghosts of Saltmarsh coming on. So that's going to be that's going to be heading your way. Very exciting. And then we have got that evening, the Our Vocalists uh, coming up with uh, Planescape Torment. So that'll be a good time. And uh, and that's that. And then we have Wednesday. Now, I believe Shadow Mage can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that because of the computer stuff, I guess that we will not actually have a Wednesday session of Shadow Crew. But it's coming soon, folks. It's been just so brutal um, for all of the people involved just because of a variety of just you know ill adventures and misadventures and things like that so sooner rather than later uh hopefully we will get that going um back again but i'm certainly looking forward to seeing it when it does come back um so that probably won't be this wednesday but uh soon we will have them back we'll be off thursday and then back friday with esper genesis and then saturday with some eberron so we got a lot coming on uh in february and because it's a short month it'll be over before you know it so you'll definitely want to stop on by so that's what we got going on i'm going to get rid of this i'm going to get rid of this and then i'm going to turn on that what's going on everyone good to see you all i hope all uh, are doing well and are excited for today's festivities i see that we've got this a little bit hang on just a second i had this set differently before okay good yes good except that this is not supposed to be here Nope, that's not even close. Just sit, you know, like that. Okay, good. 
Get that out of the way of the camera. <laughs> no Wednesday, but soon, TM. Yeah, I usually wear uh, the turtleneck thing comes up quite a bit, uh, Echo, when it is super cold, and it has definitely been super cold here. Um, it was uh, 18 degrees today. Biggest issue was uh, actually 16, I think, is, is what it got down to. Biggest issue is just the ice because we had a ton of rain yesterday and that rain all froze over um, like nobody's business when the uh, cold weather hit. So fortunately, uh, by today, a lot of it had sort of melted. The roads were in pretty good condition. Um, so, yeah, but it was it was definitely um, it was pretty icy and pretty cold. So my shelves appear to be struggling a little bit. Nah, my shelves are fine. Those things will hold up very, very well. They are, uh, they are settled into their weight, I think I would say, Hillness, is how I would describe this. They are, they are settled into their weight. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so we've got a lot going on. Uh, very exciting month of February, and um, I am excited to be playing some of this game. So we are going to head on over, and uh, let's get into more of Golden Sun. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, once again, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't shelf shame. Yeah, exactly. They are, they are, that's exactly right. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be here. Okay, that makes it easy. I'm up this way. Troll it is. A troll, I'm singing like this because I know garlic to fool like the sound of me making silly songs with these things. Gonna beat these pixels up. Gonna say pee pee, that's what I say. What's up, Rock God? Very cool echo, actually. Um, that's cool. I know I just came into the cave. I didn't remember what it out uh, otherwise. Uh, I have not finished Legacy of Dragon Holt. Um, my plan is to try to finish that uh, not probably in March, but probably in April, Marinda. We're finishing up uh, this this month. We're finishing up Midwinter's Morning. I basically had three months in a row of D&D &D with viewers, and I haven't been able to play any Metroid Prime. So I'm going to be finishing that up uh, this month. Then next month, we'll be doing Metroid Prime, and the month after that, I will finish up Legacy of Dragon Holt, and then we will be done with all the sort of off-brand D&D stuff, so to speak. Um, so I am very excited for that. And hi, Echo, and hi, everyone else. Yes, that's right. Although I'm excited about some possibilities for what happens when we get back to that um, in uh, probably during the summer, actually, is when we'll reach there. So, oh. Hey, I got an elven rapier. Really? Really? Tell me more about this elven rapier. How good is this thing? to 94. Unleashes Vorpal Slash, huh? Alright, let's see. What about... Oh, I'd have to... Mm. What I have right now? Actually, wait, I wonder if the... Ah, I'll bet. Oh, thank you, Prince Justin. Very kind of you. Thank you, Prince Justin. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. And welcome back, Miranda, to the... Uh, to the power of the Arvocalists. Uh, the, Arv uh, the Arvonauts, I should say. Okay, actually... Oh, you can use it. Okay, all right. So, what I have to do is give that to you. I'm okay. Wow, it is better. 
That's that light blade thing you were talking about before, Shadowed, about having that. Okay, now I need to get this, uh... I need to get this equipped. You. Give that to you. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, thanks, Prince Justin. I appreciate it. Also good to see you. Okay, good. Uh, right. I'm going to save this. As I recall, Shadow had told me to go in this level so I could get, and I quote, things. So, ooh, a ghoul. A ghoul and some ooze. How does this work out, by the way? Is a ghoul and an ooze just hanging out and they're like, yo, you wanna, you wanna party up? Alright, um, what can you do? Well, I can, like, I look awesome. Okay, I, I can ooze at them. Alright, sounds good. Alright, let's try out this ghoul. Right, we felt the ghoul. Level 9 Squire, that's what I'm talking about. I guess so, yeah. Well, it's like a pickup group in basketball, right? You're like, well, what are your abilities? Well, what I can do. Oh, sweet. And that meant that I. Okay, good, good, good. So I don't have other. Perfect. Ghoul 1 and Ghoul 2. Cannibal Fang? What? Why does it look like he's holding a tooth above his head to do this? Vorpal Slash, nice. Wow, that's actually Ivan being able to do some damage with physical attacks? It's unheard of. Right. Yeah, that Light Blades thing, though, for Ivan was helpful, because he really was doing, like, a whole lot of nothing, honestly, uh, leading up to that moment, so... Uh, let's go with this herb. Nah, that's not worth that. Uh-oh. It's the classic decision. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I would hang out with that ooze. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe the ooze is like... I don't know, maybe, maybe the ooze is kind of slick, right? Like, maybe... I, actually, of course, it's slick, it's ooze. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. <laughs> no, I imagine that... Uh, I imagine that the ooze would be, uh, you know... Probably misunderstood. You know, I imagine. That's how this goes down. Sticky goo. How they look like sock puppets. <laughs> That's true, actually. Uh, right. Um, I would like you to... Cure you. Now I'm gonna take a Vorpal Slash at your head. Until you were dead. Troll uses brute force. Ow! Dang, man. Hey, treat you like that. Wow. That is some serious damage right there. Poor Ivan. Curse is spoiled again. I went the wrong way. 
right, now I know where I'm going, though. A troll and a Sonic the Hedgehog appeared. You know, how, do, how do they decide who's Gnome 1 and Gnome 2, by the way? There's got to be a reason. Like, there's, they got to figure it out somehow, right? Like, how does, how does that actually go down? All right, you're Gnome 1. No, I was, always, I was Gnome 1 last time. Shut up. A dance off. Gnome could have expected. Alright. Save our quest. Ooh, wait. There is? Hold on, when you're in the first main screen of the inventory, there should be an option to sort the inventory? Oh, yes, you're right. Hey, look at that. I did not even know that. Wow. All right, weapon broadsword, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. That's pretty sweet. Seniority, the gnomes have a great union. Gnome could have expected. Oh, I see ice and fire. I'm sensing elemental stuff here. Ghoul. Oh, there's three ghouls. All right, you be ghoul three. All right, I'll be ghoul three. Trying not to blow all of their PP, although I'm also hoping I run into a Psy Stone or whatever they call them up here. See, there's a theory that is you don't want to use up your PP, but if it keeps you from getting hurt, then you don't have to use PP on Cure and stuff like that. So, alright, this looks bad. Wait a minute. There are different sort options. If you keep hitting the button combo, really. Uh, oh, I see. So it looks like there's... I can't... Like, it looks like... I mean, I kind of want it the way I had it. I want equipped items first. Then we go down to consumables, I think. Yeah. What's up, nonstop? Oh, yeah, do you? Yeah, I'm still figuring out everything with gins and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I get the idea. Nope. What? Really? made it out. What are you gnomes doing in the winter's time? Come on now. Rapier lets out a howl. Oh, you cast guard a little late. A little late, big fella. Need to cast that before. Alright, that's quite fine. Uh... Mauler! Oh, we got ourselves a mauler. We attack first. Yeah, right, we do. Corporal Slash to the Mauler. 
I like I like the bear's reaction. Though. Nice. Level nine guard, hit points, PP, attack, defense, agility, eighty-five coins, all good. Okay, there it is. If you see the village. Oh no, the Revenge of Mauler. Mauler returns. Okay, now in that case, I'm so close, I'm just gonna blow my, my synergy here because... I have two Venus Jin, one Mars, and two Jupiter. Yes, that's Venus, right? Uh, no, wait. Is that is that Mars? I think this is Jupiter, I'm pretty sure. And then this is Mars. Or is that Mars? So I think it's, so yeah, that's right. So this is, so that's Jupiter. That's got to be, um, and that's Venus, right? And then Forge is Mars. I think that's what it is. The bear is uncomfortably grim and sentient. All right, let's save our quest here. I'm trying to do one to save in the last village that we went to. Save one for the outer map, which actually reminds me. I'm going to do that right here. And then one when we're in a dungeon. It's kind of the way I used to do it uh, when I was younger. Ooh, there's a tower there. Um, for uh, when you only have like three save slots. Okay. <clears throat> Talk to me. There's been an epide epidemic going around, Dimmel. You should leave right away if you don't want to catch it. We're hoping it becomes endemic soon enough, but before, we just have to let it rip. So. Got an empty bottle. Ooh, help me. Grandpa! Grandpa, hold on! Oh no, this is terrible! Get Mia! Please, get Mia! Oh, okay. I'm gonna get Mia. Mia, are you Mia? Hi, are you new in Immel? Yes. I should warn you, there's a bad cold going around right now. Is that what you're calling it? I, oh, I just realized that I have one of my lighting set up. I was like, why is it looking so dim? Because I didn't turn on the lighting. Okay. There we go. Now we've got the extra light going on. Oh, yeah, is it shadowed? Yeah, there's so many, <laughs> I just, I don't, I will resist, I will resist the temptation to say something. Try not to catch it, yeah, I know, are you Mia? Are you Mia? I'm looking for Mia. We're the only inn that stays open in winter since guests are so few. We'll wait on you hand and foot, so please stay a while and listen. Do you want to see the restaurant menu? Uh, yes. Here you go. We're a small town, mind you. The selection isn't great. All right. Thanks. Where's Mia? That's not it. Where are you? Japanese and Norse mythology. I think I'm kind of drawing a blank on it. Are you Mia? One, two, three, four. I tend to stay indoors a lot when the weather turns cold. Not good for your health, though, so I try to work out. It's clearly freezing is a good way to do things. Oh, shit. Okay, I need, I need Mia. Oh, no. Do you want weapons? Because I can't sell weapons until I'm cured. Oh, I'm getting chills. <coughs> wow. 
We're closed. Sorry, I get a little cranky when I'm sick. I'll open up the shop when I get better. All right, you won't mind my stealing everything you have. Okay, sorry. What's up, account? All right, uh, I'm gonna guess that these people are in the same boat. Oh, hi, are you Mia? My dad is a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. He cuts down trees, he eats his lunch, he goes to the lavatory. He dr <clears throat> He's down south working in Kalima. If you wanna buy anything, please talk to my daughter. Oh, Ymir, uh... Looking for Mia. Are you... Whoa. Are you Mia? Achoo, I'm freezing. Is Mia here yet? Who the heck is Mia? You, are you Mia? <laughs> the epidemic is in almost everyone in Imo. I'm sick too. <laughs> What would happen to us if we didn't have Mia? Who is Mia? Speak, old man. Are you the healer? You, are you Mia? Have you visited the old couple who live near the entrance of town? Yes. Oh, that's too bad. That's where Mia was headed. You probably just missed her if you didn't see her along the way. What? I may only be a student, but I can act as your healer. Welcome, weary wanderers. What do you seek? Okay, no thanks. I'm not looking for Fisher Price, my first healer, okay? I'm, I'm looking for the real article. This Mia Vax, boy, one can only hope. Wait, are, these, are these graves? Okay, to be clear, I was not trying to grave rob. I was just looking at the freaking... I love the footprints in the snow. I wasn't trying to do that. I just was looking at the grave. I was like, give me some more. Why would... Whoa. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> Smooth criminal. Dun 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 so, if I go here, 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 uh, no. Okay, that's how I get into the cave, but I'm trying to get down there. <laughs> Arvin, are you okay? Arvin, are you okay? Are you okay, Arvin? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal, a smooth golden sun. What the heck? Alright. So how do I... Right. Oh. I thought that... I thought there was a chest somewhere. Maybe it's down there? And I didn't see it. Okay. Alright, anyway, let me see. So if I go here, 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 here. Man. See, I, I get, yeah, I, I get a little bit of this. I have to go.
that's how I get that's how I get to that chest. So what I have to do is I have to figure out how to get I have to figure out how to stop that like I have to stop there to that left of that stone. Okay, I think I see. So if I go up like this, up like this, up like this, up like that, down like that, yep, like this, like this, ha ha! That's right. A vial to Garrett. What kind of vial? Replenishes 500 hit points? Wow. What's up, Trend? Thanks to the host, man. Okay, we have... Alright, so I got the chest. That's great. Um, but... Now I need to go into the cave. Actually, before I do that, I need to go to the end now that I think of it, so... Let me, let me take care of that. Let me go to the end. Here, probably cost me a fortune. Welcome to our inn. It's 24 coins for a room. Would you like to stay? Yes. Please enjoy your stay. Yeah, I mean, I know the principle behind it, Pacom. I just, it just takes me a minute to figure it out. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. But I got it. Okay, now we save here. On the safe side, I think I'm also going to save. I'm also going to save under save state. There we go. Just being doubly sure. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so now we're going up and around. So now we're going to that that place in the river up there clearly is where we need to go to find the mysterious Mia. Me, oh my. Hmm. Uh. Okay, I need to get from that stone. I wonder, <clears throat> excuse me, I wonder if that, um, if that snowman makes me better able to do that. way to unless I come out of the cave that way and I enter it in a different way which is conceivable if I go this way up over no uh yeah, I thought that it has something to do with that snowman, but I don't... Alright, well... What? Probably have to go up there, don't I? Alright. I'll go deal with Frosty. I figured that it was... I, I would have to deal with Frosty at some point. Okay. 
the snowman is blocking this place path. And he better stay just where he is, or he's going to face my wrath. Uh. Oh, I get it. Yep. That and up. Huzzah! Whoa! It looks like it's time for a gin! The Mars Gin Fever, join Arvin. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more Mars Gin. Flint and fever, huh? Now, can I link up? Because... Oh, man. I, I like... Because can I get a benefit? I know that I can just play around with it, but like... I'm thinking of doing like Fever and Forge on Arvin, and then doing Flint and Granite on uh, Garrett, and keeping Gust and Breeze on Ivan. Is that like a reasonable course, or should I be definitely mixing them up? Gin and jeans. <laughs> it's a genie jeans. Genie jeans. Gene. Gene gin jeans. Gin jeans. Growth Blast, Catch, but I lose all of those. Mm. My attack goes up, my agility goes up, defense, PP, and hit points go down slightly. Oh, man. Oh, Flint and Granite on Arvin? Is, is, really? For some reason, I thought... I thought that, um, because I've been thinking of Garrett as, like, the big fighter guy, but maybe should I be thinking of Arvin as the damage dealer and Garrett as the tank? Is that, does that make more sense? Alright, so like I have it set up like this, yes? So Arvin's the damage dealer, Garrett's the tank, and uh, Ivan is this guy. No, no problem. sure the names are all white can you set oh can you set both of them at the same time oh I didn't realize that I could set both of them at the same time yeah that's my bad I didn't realize that I could do that my bad the deal with the tank and the other guy <laughs> Okay, so now they're all good. All right, I didn't realize that. Yeah, but I might as well set them. I think it makes sense to set them for now. Okay, so I got the gin. That's great. It's the good news. Bad news is, so maybe Mia. Oh. Just using them in battle, yeah. Aha! Mysterious Mia, I assume. How are you feeling? <laughs> He's been coughing for quite a while now. You'll feel better soon. Ply! 
Oh, we got ourselves a healer. How do you feel now? Much better. No, Grandpa, you mustn't push yourself too hard. Thank you, Mia. I can't imagine how this village would ever manage without you. Huh. Don't mention it. You should rest in bed too, ma'am. Who are you? Can I help you? Well, what? Was that the lighthouse? It can't be. Only I can... Oh no, Alex! What the f... Hello? How you doing? I feel much better thanks to Mia. I should be fine now. Stay a while and listen. Is he Grandpa Joe? What happened in the lighthouse to the northeast? Which you should obviously go look at right now. As soon as I look at everything in your house. Porridge, it's the best thing when you're sick. I'll bet it is. Okay. Excuse me, I'm just gonna look at your bed table. Alright. Damn it. Alright, Godspeed. Start dancing when she healed him exactly. It is tickling my the back of my memory a little bit, but I don't remember it completely, to be honest, no. All right. All right, let's go to this lighthouse. All right, we're gonna save out here as well. Grandpa Joe, the only good grandpa. Mercury Lighthouse. Wow. Fountain seems dry. Hello, Mia. Somebody is here. Uh, someone is here. Can you hear it too? No. You can't hear it? Well, I can. Alex is the only one other than I who can enter Mercury Lighthouse. This statue is blocking my way. Not for long. Clear out. Get out. I see I'll have to handle this. Did you do that? Yes. I knew it. I saw a ghostly force pushing it. Well, yes. I... You... You could see our synergy? Synergy is... Is that what you call that power? We had thought you were using synergy when you healed that old man, Mia. That's a special power handed down to memories of the Mercury clan from generation to generation. Is that what it is? I don't... I, I vaguely remember. It is called Ply, a power generated through meditation. Sometimes I'm able to cast it twice. That's what I'm casting to Ply. <laughs> That's a bounty of a joke. Sorry, I didn't mean to paper it over, but... I was on a roll, you know? <laughs> this one's much stronger. What's up, Dragon Spirit? The Mercury Clan sounds a little like people of Vale, don't you think? Yes. Sure, they're the sworn protectors of a special power, just like us. Don't throw in the towel. That's right. Listen, I mean... No reason I should have to put up with this sheet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, woo! That's a mistranslation also. I have to go. I have to find whoever entered the lighthouse.
Go there in a minute. First I'm going in this ladder. <laughs> I just wish I could wipe away this memory. Well, time to go jump in and... Whoa! What the heck? Yo! Man, 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 man. Be a quicker picker on <laughs> you did. Uh... Life in a northern joke. A monster inside Mercury Lighthouse? How could this be? Lizard Man appears. All right, Lizard Man. Prepare to be Lizard. Ow. Hey. Sure have been a bounty of these jokes. That's right. The community boost is still going on. We only have a few uh, points to boost this stream tonight. So if people are able to boost it, that would be really awesome. Thanks for the reminder, Echo. I was going to talk about that, and then I forgot for some reason. Whoa. So now's the time. People, get that boost going. If you have channel points to use up, please consider. Uh, please consider uh, giving some of those channel points. Again, what am I gonna do? Um, what? Damn it. There we go. You've saved me again, haven't you? Yes, so how about you join my party? Do you have business in the lighthouse too? Yes. I thought so. I'm sure there'll be more places ahead that I cannot pass alone. I want to make a test on something, Chad. I've been having this, like, uh, this cutout of audio, and it's been happening over the last couple of weeks, and I don't know why, so I'm going to try doing something, see if it makes a difference. see if this makes a difference. However, I sense something special about you. I feel that I can trust you. Mia joined your party. Hey, what's up, Mia? Welcome. A water seer. All right. We got fly, restore 100 hit points, cure poison, frost. Nice. I don't know if I have anything I can equip you with, but... Okay. Aha! Siren appeared. She's got a song, but it won't take too long for us to defeat her. She will take the time because she cannot sing. Why would you put me to sleep? damage with ice, okay? Give that to you. Given. Okay. Right. 
Clever, clever girl. All right. Oh. Doesn't look. Do I not get attacked in this room? It looks like I don't get attacked in this room, which would be lovely if that's true. Doesn't actually look like I can do anything here anyway. So, all right, only one place to go. What's up, Rash? Don't have random encounters. Yeah, I noticed that from previous experiences with the puzzles. down here. Yeah, so for anyone who's here... Okay, wait, I don't want to... I want to try to get that chest first. Um, for anyone who's here, if you have channel points, please give them. We're trying to get a channel boost. We're very close to one. So please boost this stream. Let's do the boost. Let's make it happen. Okay, is that... Ah, ha, ha, ha! Yes, indeed. Psy Crystal. It gets all of our side points back, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Probably just for one person, though, right? Does the side crystal only works with one, or does it recover the whole group? I'm guessing it recovers only the person that uses it, right? Shoot, the same thing. Oh, we got it. It's boosting? Nice. All right, it had that weird audio kick out again troubleshooting this for a bit. Oh, hang on a second. Uh-oh. Who too close to the sun? All right, hang on a second. Um... I'm going to be trying to test this as much as I can tonight, chat, to get a feel for... I actually have a theory about this 1080. All right, I'm going to... I'm gonna... So we'll see how this works with the FPS. If not, then I'm going to switch it and try to change the resolution. I want to try to kick this one, so... It does only one? Okay. That's what I assumed, but... So we got it. We're boosting. Thank you very much to those of you who contributed the booster at the channel points. I appreciate it. Okay, I want to go. I want to go back up there. Two maulers. Not one, but two maulers, huh? All right, we're going to see which of these works the best. Impact. Boost allies attack. Okay. Hundred 
tundra ice. The frozen tundra. Alright, that does not do that much damage to Mauler. It's just normal damage. That's more damage to Mauler. Ah, okay, so fire. A lot of damage from fire. Two Maulers. Two Symphonies. Um... Darn it, Sire. Why well, you gotta be like that? Why don't you get out of my way before you take some damage that will end your life? That's it. doesn't work. Um... But I went this way. All right. Okay, statue's gonna be over there. Not my read. can do it. Okay. Right, so now I get down there, just fall down there. Remaulers. Okay, Flare was the one that worked the best against these guys. So. We're going to find out how well... I'm guessing Tundra is not going to work well against them. We're going to find out. Ah. Some. Flare Wall is the biggest, though. Ah, shit. Somebody actually got PP back there, level 10 knight. The knights cure well. Nice. Hey, what's up, Mrs. Dunzel? Yeah, I, f I figured that out after, uh, after a little bit. Honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. Yes, good. I was going to say. Uh. Oh, hey. Wait, what? Nice work, Triffid. I hope it went okay. I don't know what just happened.
What just happened? Like, what does that mean? Gave you three halos. But, like, how do I get those halos back? I, do I have to, like, I have to go all through that again just so I can land on this statue? That's, I don't, I'm a little, oh, nice, Trivet, that's awesome. Do I need to? I don't know. I mean, I do over there, but like, I can't. But I'm saying, how do I get that back, though? Oh, wait a minute. Unless the argument is... Unless the point is... I don't... I don't fully understand what I'm doing. Like, so, do I have to go back to get those halos for some reason? I don't understand. Oh, it is, now it is activated other tiles? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, oh, that's fine. Just so now it's done something that's affected the temple. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. I see. So I go on here, it gives me the halos. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I see. Okay. Interesting. All right. But when I jump on something normal, that dissipates. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Hmm. Yeah, no, I got I got you now, Galliantus. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Sleep bomb. Okay. Sleep bomb living in the city. already went to that one. Okay. I am starting to get it. One, two, three. Hop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, three. 
think I did this wrong. One, two, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The fact that it dissipates when you hit the water is interesting. Okay, so... I go right, up, and up, that's gonna leave me in the middle of the water. Oh, okay. It will not do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Interesting. Alright, another one of these damn sirens. You will pay the ultimate penalty. Have a volcano in your face. A big disgrace. Okay. Um, let's see what ice does to you. Volcano does a lot of damage. Nice. Time for you. I'm trying to figure something out. I wonder if I was here already. Restore 150. Oh, nice. Um, Of damage from the fire stuff. Level 10 magician, excellent, excellent. Okay, so. something down here. Oh. Straight across? What do you mean? Straight across here? Dodges. 
Stop it, sticky goo. Got an herb. Okay, good. Are you talking about here? Well, okay, wait. You mean straight across there? But doesn't that just bring me back to the center, though? I've already been there, haven't I? Isn't that... Didn't I come from the south? I mean, not originally. I know I came from the north just now. But before, didn't I come from the south over on that side? I thought that... I thought that I came from over here. I thought that I came over here to begin with. Good night, Hellness. See, I've already, I came from there. I don't understand. I came from there already. What does that do for me? I mean... One, two, three. I mean, I guess that... What? A Mimic! All right, we know we got an RPG now because we got a Mimic. I knew it all along. Classic. Oh. Mia recovers for PP. Ah, it's useful. All right. Well, let's eliminate this guy. Debilitate? Oh, defense, huh? Joke's on you. This isn't going to matter. Stun Voltage. This thing is tough. Got some water of life. Oh, nice. So is that literally all I got from that? Actually, let me, uh, let me heal her up first. I mean, not that I'm complaining about having, a, you know, water of life or anything, but... worth it for the water of life. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Problem is, I just don't know where I'm going. I mean, like... Oh, well. One, two, three. Synergy armor? What is synergy armor? Tell me more. Boost PP. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, well. What do you have on right now? Oh, you have leather armor on. 
only those two can use it. All right. Nice. All right. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty slick. So now I imagine all of those are open season. Hey, Sarah Scorpion. What's up, Crone Travis? Brings back memories, huh? Did that. One, two, three. Four oozes, huh? All right, well, let's see. I think the Tam has come then, not to fool around. We are not going to fiddle around with this. again. It's not doing it much, but it shouldn't be doing it at all. Okay. Let me try something here. I'm just testing something because I'm getting some audio kickouts and I've been noticing it for a while and I'm checking to see if this makes any difference without downscaling it. No, I'm playing this on my Retron 5. It's my original Game Boy Advantage controller. Uh, Game Boy. It's an original Game Boy Advantage ca uh, cartridge and I'm playing it on my Retron 5. Using, however, a uh, Super Nintendo controller, which is pretty close to... Pretty close to the button layout of what we had in the Game Boy Advance, so... Nice, good, extra soldier work. Nope. Nope. Alright, gotta go through the puzzle again. Yeah, um, the Retron 5 works pretty well, uh, pretty well. It's not perfect, and the controllers are hot garbage, but having said that, it's still pretty good. Um, pretty sure I already did this. You go down, yeah, here, and then up there, through there. All right, so I did this 
already. Ah, uh, shoot. Alright, Lizard Man. Die, Lizard Man. Don't have time for you. Accept all the damage. to progress, obviously. It's got to be in that big room. It's got to be in the big room somewhere. Wait, no. You mean left in this big room, right? You're talking from here, yes? See, here's the thing. I wanted to go left, but I couldn't figure out... One, two... Here's the problem. If I go this way, one, two, three, and then, ah. So if I go here, it uses it up. If I go one, two, three. Not yet, conical, uh, conical flag. It's a trick. So you have to go around the room, okay. So, all right. Okay. Whoops, no, 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 no. All right. One, two, three. Down there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Damn it. What is going on with that weird kick out in audio every so often? Bear with me, chat. I'm trying to fix this, fix this problem. Disable buffering. I'm just trying to figure out like why this audio kickout is happening. Okay, it went the wrong way. I did. Okay. No, I know, but I'm trying to get to the left side of the room. One, two, three. I already went where? Aren't I supposed to be going this way? I thought I was supposed to be heading to the left side of the room. Is that not true? Oh, really? Oh. All right. Let's see. One, two, three. Here. One, two, three. Here. Two, three. Here. Let, let me. Don't tell me directly. Let me try to figure it out. Uh. Yeah, up here, right? Oh, I think, okay. Death, elven, siren, person. Okay, done. Okay. One, two. Yeah, I was already here, though. I know about this, but I was already here, wasn't I?
down, but I went I went this way, I thought. Oh, I see. Okay. I gotcha. All right, all right, all right. Um, got ourselves another water puzzle. Right, right, right. Fill the other room. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, I will do that. Just the next game? Uh, let me double check, because I think I switched it around. I think Frostpunk, but let me see. Uh, actually, yeah. Frostpunk, and then I had one that I wanted to try, which I've added in, which is Act Razor. I've been thinking a lot about playing that game again, and uh, it's been a long time since I played Act Razor, but. So I think so. No, not Golden Sun 2. But listen, Act Razor is good. Act Razor is a good game, so, and a great soundtrack. Um, okay. So yeah, Frostpunk is next. Password system for Golden Sun 2 is wild. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to obviously drop a statue on there. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Can you transfer your save from this game to that one? Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, right, and then you do this like this. And then that means that I can go up and around. So I gotta push that down first though, which means I need to get that. Okay, I see it. Oh, it's not. So there's a whole, oh wow, okay, interesting. I did not know all of those things. Okay, so go up here. All right, so you go over here. Yep. 
Okay, so let's see. We want... We don't, but we're almost there. This, and then that one goes across. Aha! Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice, very nice. Quest. Struck ice. Open says me. Back to that. Ah, nice. Got a nut. Weird water snakes. Okay, good. I'm glad to have gotten that chest first. All right. by Shabona. Open sesame. <laughs> Outstanding work. Sir. All right, so, I mean, I guess what I am doing is ruling out that any of these things have anything to do with it. Hang on a second. No. I'm trying to figure out what this one kick out is. All right, um, right. Harpy, happy. All right, well, let's see how an earthquake grabs you. How about a flare wall? How about plasma? How about tundra? Ooh, Plasma does a lot of damage. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't do that much. Ow. Can't wait till we have a one that heals the whole party. I see, I see all you folks are referring to stuff, and I'm just like, what? What the? Where's the thing? Full party heal is called Wish. You don't get it yet? Okay. No. Aha! It's a gin! 
Yep. Mercury Gin. Mercury Gin. Mercury Gin. I've got to beat the Mercury Gin. Gin. Take a volcano right to the face and then when you're done Accept this ice or the tundra to your face I think so. He had something for my face. Oh, I'm supposed to cast Tundra. Ivan. Nice. Yeah, it's a good thing I did Tread first. Huzzah! Mercury Ginny Sleet joined Mia. So why is Sleet a killer of speedruns? Does anybody hear that? It basically is like every couple of minutes for just a split second, the audio drops. And that's what it's been doing using this capture card now for a couple of weeks and I cannot figure out what it's doing. I don't understand. You're not hearing it? You hear it, Shadow? It's just like, it's like very split second. I honestly don't know what to do about it, though. I'm just messing with different things. No, no, no. I just... That time I did it because I was fixing something on OBS. That time I was just doing it on OBS. And yes, it was very noticeable last night. And that's one of the things that I, I sort of saw later on. And I was like, ugh, that's... That's no, that's no good. So I got to figure out what the deal is. Yeah, no, I just did that on OBS, but, um... And I updated drivers and stuff like that, so I have to assume that it's something with the capture card, except I don't notice it except when I'm streaming, which makes me think that it's a streaming issue, which is going to be a huge pain in the ass, I'm here to tell you. Because figuring out audio stuff is the biggest, it is the biggest pain in the ass for any streamer is audio. All right. Uh fine. Definitely worth it. Yeah, I did. Yep. Tells me we got a boss fight coming up. 
Lizard Man and a Harpy, huh? I mean, maybe, but, like, I'm sure it distracts more to the audience, but I've got to figure out why it's doing it. It should not be doing it at all. And it was yesterday, not only was it doing it, but it was also freezing my video for a split second, and I, I don't know what it's doing or why. But it's not, uh, it is upsetting. Two sirens, huh? Be careful because his flares have actually been most useful. Yeah, it's happening on my end, and I don't know why. I I do not like it. Yeah, I don't know. I've also been trying to decide, like, maybe the fact that it's happening much less with this indicates that it's somehow associated with something that's not as big a deal with um, this particular streaming item as opposed to something else. Uh, you know, like the PC or whatever. So I don't know. Did I come from here? F. It just did it then. I'm literally changing everything I can change. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, the problem is that I have, whoa, I have not the faintest idea what's causing it. I only noticed it for the first time a couple of days ago, and then I looked back and I'm like, I actually saw it in other spots, and then I was like, um, he who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heavens upon wings of fluid grace. Okay. What? Okay, good night, Trippin. Oh, um, I wonder if that's, okay. Seems promising.
Hey, a peepee stone. Lighthouse Airy. All right, well, let me save my quest. Get my peepee -pee back. It's too late. The lighthouse has already been lit. It... it can't be. The beacon cannot be lit without the Mercury Star. The elemental stars were stolen from Sol Sanctum on Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph. Sol Sanctum. Are you healers from Sol Sanctum? Absolutely I am. We came from a village called Vale to recover the three elemental stars. But unlike you, we are not healers. Did you say Vale? Yes, Vicky Vale, Batman's reporter girlfriend. Though. Our village was there to protect Soul Sanctum, but the stars were stolen. Thanks to me, because I was an idiot. That sounds just like my clan. I have failed in the one duty placed upon me. Yeah, well, so did Garrett. So, Garrett also failed, so it's fine. This is terrible. Arvin, Garrett. Aha, uh -huh, it's our boy Alex. So it's you, Arvin. <laughs> Those kids are still alive. You came all this way to save Jenna and Creighton? That's not all. We're after the elemental stars. In other words, they've come to stop us. And we have no choice. Let's take care of them now before they can do any harm. Minardi, wait. Oh, Satteros, they want to... I heard everything. They were lucky to survive the eruption of Mount Aleph. You have endured so much, and now you want to throw your lives away? Fine. If that is your wish, prepare to have it granted. Sateros, are you going to fight them alone? Lenardi, I'm extremely arrogant and believe that I am stronger than everyone. I can't expect you to leave our hostages alone and help me, can I? Um, uh, that's true. Besides, I want to see how much their powers have developed. Are you sure about this, Sateros? Leave me be. Head for the next lighthouse. Now! Do it! Do it now! Come here, child. Do you mean to defy me? I should teach you a lesson, child, but... Felix, I'd get your sister to obey me if you hope to keep her from harm. Jenna, please. Just do as she says for now. 6,080%. Oh, that's awesome, Echo. Felix. It's all right, Jenna. Arvin and Garrett shouldn't have come after us. I'm sorry, Arvin. Garrett. I'm counting on you. Goodbye. Arvin. Garrett. Don't die. That's my advice to you. Jenna. Creighton. If you want to save them, you'll have to beat me first. No, get back! What's the matter? Seteros is extremely powerful. I could sense it when I faced him. You have to be very careful when fighting him. We have to match his strength. Match me? Pa! You think you can match the great Seteros? Yes. The whole game is just... You 
overestimate your chances. Your faith in your friends is yours. Fine, then. I have nothing to fear from your pitiful little band. I'll just teach you all a lesson. What happened? Seteros is moving strangely. What's this? The light of Mercury. It's weakening my synergy. I must finish this quickly. Come on, fools! Sateros appeared! Sateros appeared! Sateros appeared! Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, that double bass though. It is not like ice. Okay. Good, because Garrett's going to be attacking straight up then. Uh, let's see. Let's throw that there. Let's have you attack, because your health is up right now anyway. Uh, let's see how Plasma does with you. And you are going to keep firing up that Tundra. Uh-oh, that's bad. Ow. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to cure people right now. So we are going to cure myself. Uh, we're going to have you attack. Uh, I need you to go with that. And I need you your carrot. Alright, good. Outstanding. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, I want you... I'm gonna earthquake you. I want you to attack normally, and I want you to... Casuals always get the best patterns. <laughs> hey, listen. Are you suggesting it's beginner's luck? Is that is that the idea? Is that what I'm getting from this? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Just trying to get a sense of the different things that will work against him. Let's go with... Um, attack again. We're going to have you. I want to see if I can improve that one more time. Yeah. I have suggestions. Yeah, I'll, uh, if need, I'm, I'm going to see how it goes. Oh, yes. Okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, right. I need you to cure well Ivan, because I really don't want you going down. Okay. I also need you okay, to do that. And I need you 
do yourself, right? Well, how do you heal them? Last one of those that I use because I want to keep pure well around for the rest of it. All right. Let's see one more time on him. Let's try ice. Okay, so he's right. So he's maxed out. Ivan goes down. Ah! All right, that's bad. Um, who's got the, someone's got the thing of water. I don't remember who it is. I hope it's not Ivan. <laughs> that would be rather unfortunate. Uh, okay, I need to cure well. Do you have it? Yeah, you do. All right, and I need you. should go off after he gets wrapped in delusion. Why am I defending? Why would you not... I mm, don't understand what just happened there. Alright. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. God damn it, it happened again. Okay. We'll save that. You are going to keep attacking. Uh, let's see, you are going to impact Arvin, and you are going to fly yourself. Okay. Yeah, I know. I have no idea what to do with this. I, I really... And like I said, I guess it's just good that I'm, you know, ruling out what it can't be. But if that's not it, then I don't know what to do. I already, I already uh, updated the drivers on the capture card. They're, like, current. Uh, I updated the capture the card drivers. I also scanned everything for malware on both computer and both computers. Although, this doesn't matter because my gaming computer. This is obviously on my streaming end that this is happening and I don't know why. And it's... It's a big pain in the ass. I wonder actually... Turned off two things just in case. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Right. I want you to attack. I want you to attack. Uh, I want you to cure. This is not... I can't do this. This is not going to work. I need you to... Cure yourself. I need you to attack. I need you. 
plasma. And I need you to fly. Yeah! Success! 331 experience points. Yeah, baby. Level 11. 800 coins, got a Psy Crystal. Booyah! Arvin, we got him. But for how long? Who would have thought that Mercury Lighthouse held such great power? If only my synergy had been at its full power. Ceteros, you said you were weakened. What did you mean? Well, see, the answer to my illness is... I... I meant nothing. I shall tell you what he means. That voice! Could it be? Alex! what you've done? <laughs> of course. I have freed a great power that has long been sealed away. This is angering me so much and I don't know what to do about it. Hey, what's up, Burner? to figure out I don't know I, I already tried doing this but I'm gonna have to um, you never played the golden of sons yeah it's good I don't know why it's doing this See, light us water. What about okay, yes? Alex, you are you mad? No, Mia. Don't you understand? The lighthouse granted you great power during your battle with Sateros. It's true. I could use my power without ever depleting it. Don't you see? The Mercury Lighthouse supplied you with limitless synergy. Synergy? Are you telling me my powers come from Synergy? You and I are both members of Mercury Clan. Masters of Water Synergy. Mia is an adept too, isn't she? Yes. Jeez, Arvin, you knew all along and you didn't tell us? Um, tell me, Alex, why wasn't Sateros able to use his full power? Ah, uh, yes. I shall explain it all, as all good villains should. Ceteros is aligned with Mars, the Clan of Fire. Fire and water are opposing elements. His full power was bound by the water synergy of the Lighthouse. Didn't Ceteros know that? Of course he knew. However, he failed to appreciate the power of this fully operational station. <laughs> this power of this Lighthouse. As did I. Is that why we were able to defeat Sateros? You're a quick study. No. No, there is more to it. I stood by, watching your battle from afar. You were watching us? Every breath you take, every move you make, every claim you stake, every breath you take, I'll be watching you. 
Can't you see? You belong to me. Ah, my fool heart aches with every breath you do. Yes, I did not help Satteros because I was certain he would win. But I was wrong. You have become such great fighters in a short time. <laughs> Ceteros is up again, but we beat him. Me? Beaten? Never. I lost to this lighthouse, not to you. I was merely stalling you until Ceteros regained his strength. <laughs> you were just buying time. That's not fair, Alex. I won't let Ceteros escape. And just what are you going to do? You finish him off? Yes. If that's the case, you'll have to fight me as well. I've seen how you fight. You cannot hope to win. And I doubt you are the type to finish anyone off. Of course, you are welcome to believe whatever you want. He warped again. Again? He's done that before? Yeah, and Soul Sanctum. I mean, like, literally, he he teleported about 25 feet. People, you could just, like, go after him. That synergy, the, the warp, does that mean Mia can use it? No, it's impossible. Even Alex didn't have this kind of power before. Ah, well, I can't stay the same Alex you knew forever. Someday we all need to dye our hair lime green, need to adopt a fake British accent, and become far too enamored of the sound of our own voice. Well, it seems that my ride has returned while we were speaking. And so I bid you adieu. Arvin Sedero still has the elemental stars. That's right, we can't let them leave now. Oh, and you want to take the elemental stars from Sedero's? Uh, yes. Ha! Too bad. Minardi has them. You'll have to ask her. That reminds me. Do you still have the Mars Star? Nope. Are you telling the truth? Well, I shall believe you for now. I suppose you'd be willing to pursue us for the Elemental Stars? Yes. I look forward to it. I shall see you soon, then. Goodbye. I look forward to our next battle. Suck it! They're gone. Shoot, we couldn't even save Jenna. I couldn't even figure out that she was an adept. I don't deserve to be a healer. We couldn't stop them from lighting the beacon. I failed my clan, failed in my duty. Worst of all, I failed myself. That's not true. But well, we could still beat them, right, Arvin? Uh, yes. That's right, Arvin. All we have to do is stop them from lighting all the lighthouses. And in no way will they always be one step ahead of us. The beacon of Mercury Lighthouse has been lit, but we'll stop them next time. That's right, we can save Jenna at the next lighthouse. Yes, we won't let Alex get away with this. Let's go after them now. What's the matter? We should hurry. We? Me, are you coming along with us? But the people of Immel need you, Mia. It's okay. I hate them anyway. I mean, the fountain shall be filled as long as light fills the lighthouse. That's an old saying. The fountain will run over with healing waters now. I have mixed feelings about leaving, but Immel will be fine as long as the fountain continues to flow with the water of Hermes. Can I say yes, yes. We should hurry if we're going to follow them. <clears throat> All right. Good stuff.
Ground floor. Terrible villains trying to take over the world. Air Temple, thank you. Water Temple, thank you for riding. Water Temple Airlines. You. Our fountain is back. They say that wa these water can heal all that lives. The legend said that if the lighthouse was lit, the fountain would fill again. It looks like the legends were true. I drank the healing water and now I feel great. I think I'll go for a walk. You're not fooling anybody. I'm feeling better. I should get a bottle so I can take some home with me. Ha ha! Someone here perhaps can do that. We don't have to fear any epidemic as long as we have our fountain. Is that all it takes? The fountain is flowing with water. Nope. Hermes water. Replenishes all HP. Outstanding. Okay. Sure could use a fountain of Hermes IRL. Yeah, I know, I know. That, that hits a bit different, doesn't it? All right, now these people are healed. I should be able to get weapons and the like. Are these people healthy again? That fountain water really made Grandpa healthy. Did I really say I was going to die from that disease? Yes. <laughs> I must have felt really, really felt sick to say that. I'm good for another 30 years. Let me get back to work. Oh, my back. Emma will be fine. Disease is nothing to the water of Hermes. I like to put all of my faith in the mysterious healing properties of a liquid I do not understand and cannot explain. Thank goodness the town is back to normal again. Hermes water gives you wings, I know, right? How long before they start bottling it? I'm glad the beacon has been lit and the fountain is flowing again. But it's a shame that Mia is leaving the village. It's almost time for you to leave, isn't it? Yes. Just like the legend said, the fountain began flowing and the light was lit. That means that Imil need never fear disease again. <laughs> One, two, three, four... I was training hard so that I could withstand any disease, and now the lighthouse fountain is back? What did I train so hard for all this time? What was the point of all these gains? Okay. Come in. Welcome. Take a look at our fine weapons. What do we got? Magic rod. Which one? Blessed Ankh. Staff unleashes siphon seal. Can't wait to hear what the hell these game tickets are all about, honestly. Nice. Right, all right. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's take a look at the armor. I know, right, Shadow? All out of stock. item. Okay, you gotta sell the leather armor, so let's do that first. Sell the leather armor. No, I do not. Now I want to buy something. The depths close. Yep. Yes, I would. Sounds good. Game ticket.
fur coat. Hmm. Yeah, all right. What's up, Bill Nye? Golden Sun is golden. It's, it's going well. All these game tickets. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to equip this. So many game tickets. Uh, yeah, it's too bad. Eleven tickets. What are these for? Open helm. others that I could do. Close, though. Very, very close. What about, let's do the open helm. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty good. Pretty good. What exactly is the benefit of these game tickets? I have 14 of these things. What is the point of these? Does something happen at some point? Where all of a sudden they're just like, Ah, yes, you've gotten 20. Please have 8 million coins. They're going to be useful later? Okay. Only issue with this is that I need to I need to stay in the inn. So use them in the final town. Okay. All right. I am gonna actually get into one fight just so I can get enough coins to stay at the inn. Twenty-five coins should be enough. Okay, let's go into the inn. Outstanding. All right, perfect. And then we have to head out to the next lighthouse. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Let me just check, to make sure there's nothing upstairs that I'm missing. request. We save out here in the world map. Okay, and then I'm going to save. Okay, 
wanted to do save state just in case. Okay, now I did that. Now I don't know where I'm going. I guess I have to go back the way I came. Man, three gnomes, a bear, walk into a bar. And what they see is stuff. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, Soldier, good. I still don't entirely know. Got a Hermes water, they can cure anything. Last time you fought something that needed a miracle cure. Last time I fought something that needed a miracle cure. Oh, the trees. I gotta go back and take care of the uh, Kokoriki. Mecha like a high, mecha hiney ho place. Ah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, the thing is that I like the stat boost that Jin are giving me, so maybe I, you know, should not be doing that, but my feeling has been like, well, you know, if I don't, like, it's hard to give up on this, the stat boost, I guess. Push the torches? Oh. I can push the torches. Alright, hold on, hold on a second. Ah. Try pushing the torches. Uh, uh, gotta go all the way back. Oh, too many. Ah, uh. let's go. I hate random encounters. Let's go. That's good. Great. Awesome.
Okay. Yeah, you know, it hadn't even occurred to me that I could move this thing. I was too busy thinking of the ice. Okay. Thank you, Shadow. Out of my way. Got a vial. All right. Nice. Okay. All right. Now I'm getting on out of here. And going back to the... To the forest town. I love these ever-burning torches in these caves, too. Oh. Rocks a lot that's siphon sealed. Okay. Almost. Yeah, and if I had been thinking about it, I just was honestly looking at the pillars. I was not thinking about at all about the fact that the torches could be the things which move. Made a lot of sense. In retrospect. Ooh, we got a level 12 scribe. Okay, I already got that. I have growth, but... Yeah, I have growth, but it doesn't do anything right now, so... I know I did. I don't remember what I got up there. Damage. Three damage. Tundra. A frozen tundra. Really hope that's the right way. Uh, aha. Oh, it was the Elven Rapier was up there. Well, no, I know about the second level of the cave. But I... Uh, the second level that led to the cave, but... No, wait a minute. If I use Hermes... No, wait, 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 wait. If I use Hermes Water... Am I going to use up Hermes water? Don't use it? All right. Use it on that poor dude. Uh, shoot. Okay. Do I... All right. I head to the south and the east, right? I head east. 
I think I go this way, yes? Because down this way is what leads... I'm almost positive. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. Right, to heal Tread. Yep. Which means I gotta go all the way up here. That's Tread up there. Somebody would... That's gonna be all that's necessary. God, bless America. Um... Do I have to do... Oh, do I have to do all these puzzles again? Oh my god. There should be a way that the game does not make you go through these random things and you're just getting back there. Like, you already know what you need to do. Didn't I come from here? Think of an XP for me. Do I have to? Do I have to think of it that way? Oh. Came from the, I know I came from the right, but like... the right. What? I don't get it. What am I doing? Oh, I just want to keep this thing progress the story. Okay. Come 
down here. Right. Oh, all right. I thought I did that, but I guess not. Ah. I remember this, then I do this, then I do this. Right, and then I go down like this. Over here. And I push that all the way to the water. Okay, sounds good. Sleep well, Echo. Okay. Go over, up, and to the right. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Do I have to do... All of the no, I actually I have to do all of this again. Oh, why would they think this is a good idea? We already did this. There's no reason to do it again. Dude, really. Well, yeah, I know, but... Okay. Actually, I think that's all, now that I think of it. Maybe that's not that bad, I guess. Okay. It's a coding limitation? Oh, really? Because it can't hold that stuff you mean in memory, so you just have to... I see. Interesting. Guess I can see that. Let me, let me save this. Hold on a second. So I always beat Satoros first. Okay, so I have to take him on... So I can take him on here, right? Like, I can, I, I can heal him here, yes? Is that right? Okay. All right. The water of Hermes seeped into tread. I feel.
feel a great power spreading through me. It's the power of dance. Room life flows within me once again. Life flows within me once again. Room. Oh, Trent. Oh, Trent. Yes, I've got the stuff again. My name is Roots. I know what I'm doing and I've got the shoots. I'm gonna make these leaves. I'm branching out. My bark is worse than my bite. Watch out, my name is Tread. Yeah. As you have recovered, so is our forest. I am sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. <laughs> and you, young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Yes, Tread. You must turn the people of Kalima into humans again. Yes, that's right. I must hurry. That should do it. The people of Kalima are cursed no more. Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Gems from the sky. Do you think he means the synergy stones? No, I think he means sky gems. Good God, Garrett, keep up. You really think synergy stones called all of this trouble? I think that's what I said. I was indeed angry that people had laid waste to my forest. They had even taken their axes to me. Then those gems fell into my branches. Then all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me and I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control. Seriously, shout out, right? Have any of the saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? No. Only the elder trees were affected by the falling synergy stones. There are others that this happened to? So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Twice. Multiple times, actually. Those monsters. Maybe they were just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart. Ooh. Those gems have brought a great evil to the world. Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too? I have the power of sparkles. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait, you will soon see. What did you see, Laurel? It's true. Even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river. The river that feeds our forest? No, the river by the McDonald's five blocks down and... Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. It's called Banewood. Will you be heading south across the river? Yeah, we'll be now. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you had better hurry. Hurry, I said. I owe you a great debt. You have saved Kolima, the forest, and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high.
Here we go, chat. Two. I'm going through the forest. I saved all the animals. I'm going through the forest. Saving all the animals. Oh. Now that I have such power, no axe shall ever touch me again. You may depart with no worries. See if the animals kill the frames. Haha, <laughs> yes. The forest of Kalima is alive once again, thanks to you. We shall protect the forest from now on. Keep saying Laurel, I keep hearing Yanni. All right, time to head out to the uh, area of the forest. Retreat! Okay. All right, so world forest, the world map rather. We head south. Wait. Uh. I think I go up and left. Hope this is right. Rat. All right, here. Take this rat. Ooh, dirty rat. Damn it! I was wrong. I failed. Okay, I gotta go back to the village because the village is gonna be all clear now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds good. Good night, garlic. We rely on the forest so much, and yet we hurt the sacred tree. Maybe we can work to restore harmony to the forest now. No, being a tree gives you a lot of time to think. And I've never done that before. <laughs> Good night, Carly. Welcome, we have just the gear you need. We don't have any rarities right now, but do come again. Oops. Oh, yes. Sacred Feather. Hell yes. How many do I need? Uh, how long do these last, these Sacred Feathers? Do you know how long the Sacred Feathers last? I mean, approximately. Is Does it... Does anyone know how long these last? How long the feathers repel? Oh, I completely forgot about that. One to two minutes. 20 minutes of fewer counters? Sign me up. I'm going to pick one of these up. Okay. Old man, 
Don't blame the villagers for being tempted by McCoy's money. Anyone would have looked at that tri man's tricorder and realized he had funds. Anyone would be tempted by such a staggering sum. Really? Daddy told me a secret. Ooh, Daddy's got a secret. You saved Kalima? Wow, that makes me want to tell you a secret. But I'm not gonna. It's too good to give away. I already got it, old man. Nice try, though. My husband seems to be keeping a secret from me. A town with secrets, chat. A town with secrets. Okay. I turned into a tree right when the sparkles fell from the sky. That's exciting. Thanks. Oh, trees are so sleepy. I didn't mind being a tree. Water never tasted so good. Ask me anything about armor. How about artifacts? Sorry, we're a lot of stuff. Sorry, I can't. You got it. Take a look at our fine weapons. Yeah, that's not very exciting. Don't care about any of that. I heard the traveling warriors from the Goma range saved the village. The warriors are said to be enormously huge and very strong. He supposedly defeated Tret to remove the curse, but that can't possibly be. Big strong warriors with great beards freed Kalima from the curse. That's absolutely right. <clears throat> As you'll note, I made it a point not to skip arm day. Obviously the beard, you know what I'm saying? It's based on number of steps. Okay. Better than a town without pity. Ooh, very poetic. If you see them, please thank them for me. I'll make sure to do that. They're me. Here we go. Dad, will you please go back to being a lumberjack? Dad, how are we going to eat if you don't work? I'm never going to use an axe again. I'm never going to axe again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Though it's easy to pretend. I know I cut that tree. I should have known better than to cut the tree The wasted chance that I was given So I'm never gonna ask again The way I asked with you That careless axe cut, chat Yeah, they described a group of mythical Vikings I saw a thing on uh, Twitter the other day that was like You know, the way that people describe their hero their fighter and it was like looks like Thor and they're like the way they actually play them and it's like some weird cosplay like not cosplay that's unfair to cosplayers like some weird like bizarro bad costume wearing dude who would use a holy tree to build a palace anyway welcome weary wanderers what aid do you seek visit us again anytime I'm told the holy tree's rage causes horrible incident do you believe that was the only cause no I agree. Something did change when the gems fell. This is Kalima, village of lumberjacks. I'll shout it out loud. This is Kalima! I think if I just was turned into a tree, I might be keeping it down on the down low about being a lumberjack. You know what I'm saying? Like Ixnay on the umber jack lay. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You want to take it easy there. No more work here. Kalima can go back to being a quiet little village. You say the McCoy altered construction of the palace. No more work. All the lumberjacks that came to make money will leave. Well, that reminds me. I need to go to McCoy's Palace next. I've been a lumberjack for years, but I've never seen anything like this. I think I'll go home to my family in Immo. I'm only a merchant, but I got turned into a tree just for staying here. I think I'll head to Zion, south of the river, now that I'm a man again. Okay. Right, but it, get, it, it gets rid of those stupid, like... In between encounters, I assume. Okay, so I've got to go to McCoy's palace. Oh, 
shoot. Is McCoy's Palace... Man, that's to the north of Bolima, isn't it? Or, uh, not Bolima. I'm thinking of Colima. That's to the north of Bilbin. Man, all right. I'm gonna go talk to McCoy. I heard we were once called the Gang of Three. But now that she's gone, we're just the Gang of Two. The poor girl. If only we hadn't tried getting those persimmons, she'd still be... We'll never climb on each other's shoulders again. Oh, whoops. I guess that was the person I was supposed to save, huh? Gian? Oh, it's... Oh, it is pronounced? Okay. Right. I was turned into a tree for a while. Can you believe it? Yes. Like I now know what it means to sink your roots in one place. But I wouldn't recommend it to anyone else. No, I bet you wouldn't. Oh, it's... Oh, sir! We've been looking everywhere for you. The curse of the holy tree. You're the ones who broke it, right? Yep. You're under arrest. What? Let's go. Lord McCoy is waiting. Look at me. I'm under arrest. We've brought the warriors, my lord. So, you're the wee, I mean, brave lads I met before. What are your names again? He's Arvin, sir, and I'm Garrett. I'm called Ivan, and I am Mia from the village of Immel. Arvin and company. And did I not decline your offer when we first met? Yes. I didn't give it enough consideration back then. And, you, and yet you went on to break the curse despite my words, did you not? Yes. I humbly thank you. I'm an idiot. I was but worried you might nice stop here on your way back. I want to show me appreciation for your help. I relied on my money, but I forgot about my people's needs. You remembered me of my duties. Now that the haggis is out of the fire, I'd like to help you out. And so, these authentic bagpipes. As lord of these lands, I'll do my best for everyone's behalf. Arvin, it would honor me greatly if you accept a wee token of my gratitude. I could give it to you here, but would you rather, you know, rather choose it yourself? What? I guess I will choose it myself. Very well, you can choose something I'll help you along your way. I will show Arvin and his friends the way, my lord. Many thanks to you and to your companions as well. Visit me anytime, you'll always find a warm hearth here. Follow me and I'll take you to the treasure room. Lord McCoy ordered that Arvin and his companions be brought here. Please show them their reward. You may select a single item from among these four chests. No, wait, do I know what these have? Like, do I get a chance to see what's in there, or is it just complete luck? I'm also going to save it in there. All right, let's find out. That's terrible. Yeah, guess where else I'm welcome? Loading estate. We can do better than that. Or... Ahahaha! <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Now we're cooking with gas. You're always welcome in the palace of Lord McCoy. That's what I thought. Hmm. 
got a pretty nice reward, but I think you were just unlucky. I don't want you to feel bad, so I'll tell you something good. The reward you received was indeed the greatest of treasures. Courageous people have the best luck. Was I right? It is this one, right? The, the rightmost one? So there was not, there's not like a secret treasure that I missed, right? Like that's, that is the best one. Water of life is pretty good. Okay. Good. Okay, so I did that. They're all good to go. Um, let's talk to that dude. It taught me that I cannot judge a man by his age or appearance. People of Bilbin will never forget your bravery. <laughs> My palace is not finished. McCoy loves that holy tree more than he loves me. Shut up, woman. Now the curse is broken, why don't we start construction again? It's over. Over. My lord decided not to build the palace. Don't need to build your silly palace. People barely survived. Good grief, read the room. All right, so that takes care of that. Bilbin is finished. All right, so now the question is, Jin is not there. Bilbin Barricade, Kalima. So... It looks like I can maybe go south. Can I, can I go south from the Bilbin Barricade down here? So like head east and then south? I see we got a big desert area here, but... Like, if I head east to Bilbin Barricade, and then I head south... Far, far east. So I want to go all the way back over to Kalima Bridge, basically. And head this way. So, like, Bilbin Barricade and keep on rolling, I think. I think I see where I'm going. Okay. summons. I did some things with the summons, but then I get, yeah, I get, oh. Aha! Are you going to cross the bridge? Oh, right. Go right ahead. I thought no one would ever cross this bridge again. 
Enjoy every crossing, for it could be your last, Jim. Optimistic. Okay. Good, so we're up there, left, now we go south. And then east. Oh, it's our ooze friends. Take it all, bears. Aha. Oh, come on. What do you mean I was caught by surprise? You're right, I'm trying to freaking get to the village. Here, take a earthquake. Plasma for damage is nine. Earthquake. Fushin Temple. How did you get here? Is the bridge open again? Yes. Really? Then I can go home to Kalima now? I thought I'd never go home. What with the cursed forest and all. Gems from the sky, blue nights in the north, all omens of disaster. They match legends of destruction described in our oldest scrolls. Om, om, blue lights in the north, terrifying. A rain of broken stars, a forest suddenly grows, all omens. Yunpa has not eaten in days. He's going to waste away to nothing. Okay. Welcome, weary wanderers. Isn't it noble of him to try to save the world by becoming enlightened? Yes. However, I really do not want to see Nyunpa waste away. The problem is... Why would I go get that stone right now? I don't understand why that's just sitting out there. It makes me nervous. Um... Best item in the game. Whoa. <laughs> Unicorn ring, huh? remove poison, right? I guess I went to the temple. I guess I did that. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Evil forest. Whoa. Mogul forest. Broken sign reads North Fuchin Temple, South Mogul Prairie. Oh, it's the classic. Yep, 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 yep. Dirge 1 appears. Dirge 2, Spirit 1, Spirit 2 appears. I had a chance to get turtle boots and I didn't get them for some reason. Is that the idea? Oh, well. I don't know. If I, if I didn't know that they existed... Control Magician, Magician Sleep. Time to get some use out of this item. Back to the temple. Man, all right. That temple, let that temple better be worth it. These boots. speaks to my mind. Young master, was that your voice I'd heard in my mind just now? I knew it. You will follow them, do you not? I knew it. But you must go through Mogul Forest, the Endless Woods. The forest itself is a mystery and its paths even more so. No ordinary man can pass from one side to the other. But perhaps I could, young master. To endure the trials in the waterfall grotto, I will tell you. Will you take the test? Yes. Do not worry. You will be permitted to enter the grotto. Go now, Arvin. Just remember, you are not the only ones who can read minds.
I've already heard of your test from Master Nyumpa. You may enter. Test of Fuchin Falls is a difficult one. Do not enter until you are ready. All right. Well, here we go. The dragon's flame illuminates the path of truth and darkness. A mimic. I've been hornswoggled. All right. Take to this day, you will be hit with a volcano. Eye drain. All right, now just pour it on. Corporal Slash. Nice. Level 12 soldier, heat wave. And another game ticket. Okay, let's see. Um, about this crystal powder. Synergy. Pure. Okay. Oh, they're the worst item? Oh. That sacred feather lasted a while. So this is something which can have value, you're saying. Rays of light give birth to shadows revealing the way. 
is the way. Fighter. Looks a lot like a skeleton. Totally different, though. Undead sword. Cool. That was some serious damage. see it. Yes, indeed. All right, we're going to pick up another one of these gin. Jupiter. Gonna be a heat wave. definitely works. Ow. Okay, Earthquake and Heat Wave. That's what we want. Uh, let's see. Jin Zephyr joined Arvin. All right, welcome to the team. Whose party agility was Swift Wind. From Knight to Apprentice. Ooh, look at this. Astral Blast. Gaia, Weaken, Delude. I lose Quake, Earthquake, Inspire, and I also lose all the cures, though. that to one of the others, though. Oh, 
Oh, that's why, because I was giving it to the wrong person. That's what I meant to give it to. My bad. Yeah, I just was not thinking at first. Let's see, first of all, before I do anything, I need to heal some people. All right, good. Glad I did that place. I, I got it. I got to roll one of them up. Like that. Yeah. All right, let me go down here. I, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming I kind of, <clears throat> just looking at the breakdown, Shadow, I kind of figured that would be the case, yeah. Okay. Loving that sacred feather. That looks not at all intimidating. Marvin got the dragon's eye. Marvin gave the dragon's eye to Garrett. Flames. All right, we got the dragon's eye. That's good. Assume a dragon's eye is just going to be, now that I have it in my inventory, it'll just get used when I need it to be. Ah, yes. I know the answer to that. Yes, indeed. And the light dawns.
I need to go left. Which means I go here. Sacred Feather has been doing serious work. This was a great investment. log rolling puzzles. Oh, nice. That's good to hear, actually. Arctic Blade. That sounds awesome. Uh, let's see. Yes. That's pretty sweet. All right, so got an Arctic Blade. Still need to get to that next step, but we got both of the things we needed there. I mean, I assume the dragon's breath, like, revealed something, but, like, what does it say in the next? Rays of light give birth to shadows, revealing the way. <laughs> Shadow, you getting the urge again? Chosen Pola, yeah, but like, oh no, that's Holy Grail, and The Last Crusade, good god, man, I barely remember that film, what part, where he gets in a refrigerator to avoid being a nuclear explosion, like, Invisible Walkway. Okay. Wow, 
I would never have guessed that in a million years. The leap of faith, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's gotta be in the other room. Nice. Explosions are hot, refrigerators are cold. Refrigerators protect from nuclear explosions. That's just logic. Yeah, no, I mean, given like, you know, whenever you were a kid, I don't know if you ever had this happen, but anyone ever saw like a refrigerator and parents were always like, be careful. Secret of keys shall be revealed to the disciples of truth. The orb of force to Garrett. Yeah, it's such a good narrative moment, though, Marinda. It almost... It, it's... It's a good moment. <laughs> Temple has definitely been worth it, yes, so far. We'll see, though. Gotta get out of it first, Puckham, but yes, so far. What's really been worth it are these freaking sacred feathers which just made this temple about 7 million percent less annoying. I gotta get, like, 50 more of these things. So can I just leave now that I've done that? Can I now depart? I got the gin. Young master, did you complete the test? Yes. Why, wow, you have mastered the secrets of Fushin Temple? Master Nyunpa is waiting for you. Proceed to the temple. Excuse me, I'm proceeding to a temple. Excellent, Harvin. I'm glad to see you master the secrets of Fushin Temple. We monks call the power you have obtained key. You seem confused, Harvin. Yes. This is called force by the Western world, but it is really spiritual power. I will teach you as I promised. Use this power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Haha, -ha, you are curious, no? Yes. Monsters that wait in hiding would show themselves. You would then try to defeat them, would you not? Yes. No. Sometimes you must let go of your belief that fighting solves problems. Monsters are cowardly. They will run once they know you can see them. They are creatures of the woods, so they do not get lost there. Yeah, exactly. Only the penitent man shall pass. Actually, uh... Okay. Worth. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Alright, so we're just gonna go into the forest. We're gonna just try a little bit down there. We're gonna be wrapping up pretty soon. We've been going for almost four hours. And we have made, I think, excellent progress today.
Can I get distant object? That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I see that nut. Maybe I have to do it from the side? Crap, it's bad. From the left, yeah, okay, okay. What? What? I've been hornswoggled, I've been hoodwinked. Failed. Failed, Shadow. Failed utterly. Completely failed with all due diligence of things. Aha! Thank you. Got another nut. All of a sudden, it just completely changes the way it looks like. All right. Oh, man. Lizard. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Outstanding. That was good stuff. forest so this looks like the same okay aha Time to fight some moles with the power of the earthquake. I imagine that will do a lot of damage to them. I hope it will destroy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I did do on some of the logs. I did use the force up close, but... Got an apple. Boost attack. Oh, does this permanently boost attack? I'm going to guess this is permanent, right? Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, so use the force from up close. So, do I chase that guy, or do I just go... Do I chase him? Or do I just keep on keeping on? Like... Because I saw that guy when I first came into the forest, but I was confused. No, I know, but like, what is the point of what I just did there? Did that do anything? Yeah, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be following them or... They will lead me to the right path. Okay. That's what I was wondering. So if I go here... Uh-oh. Um... Maybe I don't... Maybe I don't have to do that. How'd you go? Oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't a gin. Let me just push this this way once while I'm thinking about it. Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Okay, a lot of damage from plasma. Ow. Okay, plasma, not earthquake. <laughs> Shadow. Oh, 
your fire, your desire. Nice. Master describes restore. Venus Jin Quartz. Genie Quartz joined Arvin. All right. Okay. 135 to 144, 50 to 59, 68 to 72. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now, can I please do the thing that I need to do with this? Man. Oh, because I have to do it right. Uh, no! Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, I gotta bring this over. Walk all the way over. That's what I need to do. Okay. Get over there. Death head. Not interested in dealing with Death Head today. Okay. Get out of that tree. To the left. Did I see its effect? Uh, I don't, I might not have. Revive a downed ally. Oh, <laughs> okay. I saw it now. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to assume it has to go that way. Oops, no. I did not see that. Okay, yeah, very good stuff. What? Two of these left. All right. Okay, that is... Oh, wait, I have the thing right there. I'll be over there, please. There we go. And Let's go over there. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's with the feather. Okay. 
Right. And now you are going to do this. Come back, you back. Ah. Oh. All right, that's head. Knight's Ragnarok. That sounds pretty impressive. Um, okay. Knight's Ragnarok, huh? I didn't... D did he just jump out? I, I looked away for a second. the most iconic synergy of the game. Did he jump out of the thing and I missed it? Yeah, he must have. Whoa! Whoa! -ho 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 -ho. Hello, killer ape. I guess he was sick of me giving the business. Okay, time to try it out, Ragnarok. what I see. I like all of what I've seen just now. Okay, Ragnarok. Uh, let's see. Heat wave also worked really well. Um, we're gonna have impact on you. And I want you to cure. Can't wait till we get a cure all type of thing. Douse out. <laughs> All right. I mean, pretty much attacking with Ragnarok, it's Ragnarok. Like, that sounds just, it's amazing already, you know? Um, okay, I am going to continue to do that much damage all the time, so sign me up. thing's tough, though. It's taking a lot of hits. It's taking at least 500 points of damage at this point. Uh, let's see. I will do that.
actually... Yeah, I gotta give everybody heals and be more... More effective with how I use those things. Um... Oh, it did work. Nice. Hell yeah, you got the douse drop. The devil is the dose drop. The douse drop. Oh, so what I was when I was did the impact on um Are you serious, Pacom? Really? I really need to get... I need to finish up here, Pakam. Are you sure? Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, I also wanted to... It's worth it. Uh... Sigh. All right, hang on a second. Um... Oh, I want to give, um, I also want to give a healing item. All right, I want to distribute something different also. I want to give a, I have like five, six nuts, and I want to give some of those. I do not need all of those. So I'm going to give... Okay. And then I want to give one of those... I mean, to Garrett. Let's swap it for what? For nothing! Okay. And then I want... Let me give one more of those. Bestows Douse when equipped. Okay. Um, I'm going to give that to her. Okay. So, let's see. Um... Give away all my nuts. I think I did. Okay, I'm gonna give one nut to her. Okay, that's more equipped. All right, now I'm gonna use one last feather. It's my last feather, I think. Water stat boosts. Okay. Um, what is stat boost, Lathy? What do you mean? The nuts are stat boosts? No, no, they're, those are hit points. Those are 200 hit points, Lathy. Those are healing. I, I Otherwise, I would have done that a long time ago. All right. Tell me where I'm going. I go up. Well, now, where do I go? Where to next? Yeah, I don't think I have any hard nuts. Go back one more room. What happened to the feather? Come on, man. Ah. Ah. Okay. Then I go left. 
So I'm going left, right? I keep going out that way? Yeah, I figured it might be that shadow. Am I going left? Here? Okay. All right. Oh, okay, I see. Uh... Okay. Oh, crap. Um... Oh wait, I can, I'm so I'm so dumb. I was like, I was like, what am I gonna do? An elven shirt. All right, let's see what this elven shirt does. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. That's a lot of agility boost. That is a lot of agility boost. Um. Although, you know what? Actually, give him the synergy armor. No, actually, I take that back. Have him equip that. That is a good item, yeah. You're right. Give that to Garrett. Have him equip that. Have him take this leather armor. Neither one of those can use that. Yeah, because he needs more PP anyway, because when I'm because he's the only guy who does the fire stuff. So this is a good call. Yeah. Alright. Oops. La. Alright. I can't retreat. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, so I gotta get out. Ah! Okay, yeah. Down here and then down here. Crap. <laughs> and immediately get attacked. Alright, good. Another level. Okay. Okay, yeah, you were all right. You were correct. That was worth it. I would agree. All right, let's get to the next place. A village. Wow. All right. We're going to... Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to attack. All right, all right. Take it easy, all of you. Yeah, uh, let's go with Earthquake on this one. Okay. That. Plasma. Bye. 
the heck? There you go. And a level 13 soldier as I'm heading into the village. And I got a nut. Ah, it's Jean. This is Jean. Travelers are welcome here. Relax, stay long. Disasters from the sky, many, many thieves. But I do not worry. Jean has many kung fu masters. Master Fe is strong. Master Fe. Fe. All the people who came to eat are from Jean. What happened there? Oops. Warriors should learn about the towns they visit. Just traveling and fighting is a sad life. Well, I like this day. Charge 40 coins and you stay? Yes. Good rest is good for travelers. More like Jean. It's not, I thought it was je, 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 as opposed to sh. It's, you, you, had, I trust your instincts on it, Shadow. It's not je. Normally, many merchants come to the village, but they have not come yet. I think that is strange. Making sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, sure. Okay. Sean. All right. Then I am. I am. I stand corrected or sit corrected. This is the mulberry orchard. When the season comes, all Sean comes to harvest. that dude doing training on a branch? Wah! Ja! Dang. <laughs> My kung fu is strong. If you go to Master Fest school every day, someday you will be strong too. Oh, that's pretty slick. Sean is the village of Kinu. Kinu means silk. Silk makes the best cloth. Let me get up there. Go around that side. Alright, anyway. There's the end. Right, I'm just going to go in this building so I don't forget what I was doing. Check it out. Mulberry harvest is over. Now there's much food for the caterpillars. The cocoon threads will become silk. Merchants will buy a lot when they come. They give you, you know, just enough from these barrels that it makes you want to check them. Just enough. It's pretty amazing, actually. Farm work is very hard. Warriors have no idea how hard it is. Well, yeah, it does look tempting. Hey, hey. Oh. What are you doing? You made me spill my water. I must get water again. This work is hard on my back. You warriors should visit Master Fest School. You will be surprised. All right. I will worry about that. could free freeze the water what uh
Oh, so... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Really? Okay. So I bet, okay. Gonna be right. That's not. That's gonna be too close, isn't it? I see how to do it, though. All right, we'll take care of this, man. What? That's what I was afraid of. I need to get her earlier than that. might be right. Uh. <laughs> Heck yes. Mercury Gen Mist joined Garrett. Very cool. I hadn't even realized you could do that. Those little elements of that, uh, using synergy in other spots, are pretty cool, I have to say. Wait, that's not right. No, I want him to go over to her, so you... House, 143, 143, 107. Nice. Because you interfered with water, bro. <laughs> gamer. What's up, Gamer? How you been? Lovely. Okay. Now we're in good shape. So now we're going to be back here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave back so that I'll be able to get into that place. Right. Okay, so I saved there. And I'm going to save. Snapshot zero. Good stuff. Finding a random encounter overworld, Ginny. Doing pretty well, gamer. Doing pretty well. Well, we made some good progress today, though. We saved the forest. We uh, got a bunch of... We got like three, I think, Genie today, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure we got three. Um, so we got three of those. That was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we, we made some serious advancements. Um, so that was pretty good. I liked it. And I can definitely see... So am I like... Like, not even a tenth of the way? Am I a quarter of the way? Am I half the way? Do you have a sense? Oh, that's right. Four. One came with me. I forgot about that. Um, do you have a sense of how far in I am to this so far? Does anybody have an idea?
We let the Mercury Lighthouse be lit, which was all part of our master plan, to be very clear. Absolutely part of our master plan. Wait, hold on. I did that wrong. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. There we go. And then I switch that. What is... No. Okay, and then if I do the one, I'm just checking something out, chat, bear with me for one second. That's that, right, yeah, 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 yeah. To get that down, okay, good. Now I have that right. 9%, you're 35 to 40%, okay, that's good. That is good. Switch frames back. Have to make it change in one other thing. All right, that's fine. Cool. Um, so uh, we made some good, good progress today then. I am feeling good about that. I'm feeling good about the advancement that we've made. And um, yeah, we will get some more Golden Sun in uh, possibly this uh, sometime this month. But otherwise, we got a lot of tabletop stuff that we have to do too. And speaking of all of that, uh, just as a couple of reminders, don't forget what we're going to be doing uh, tomorrow on Sunday. We have got uh, the, not the premiere, but episode one, basically, because we did session zero last time. So session one of uh, Girl by Moonlight, um, Fractal Spire, which is being played by the former Strange Friends. I guess they're still the Strange Friends, but they were known as that, playing uh, Blades of the Dark, Case of the Cindered Seal for Speculate. So they are going to be back uh, doing this game, which is going to be a lot of fun, and I am excited for that. The next dungeon is about halfway. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that's going to be fun. We're going to be doing that, and that's going to be happening again on... Uh, it's going to be happening tomorrow. I believe either 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. I have to check to confirm, but I believe that's when it's going to be. Then on Monday, uh, we have at 7 p.m. Eastern, Bag of Giving. Uh, the charity event that we hold here is going to be running on this channel with masks. Dong Wan Song is going to be your GM for that, and Brandon Crilly is going to be running production um, because I'm going to be on my way back from school on that day, so that's going to be happening on Monday. Tuesday, we have a big day. Tuesday, uh, we have got, uh, hopefully, uh, the Game Book Illustration stream with Terry Tunes. Again, more to find out about that, I have to confirm, but that's the hope is that we're going to have the Game Book Illustration stream. Then we're going to have, at 4 p.m. Eastern, we will have, um, I believe we've got, so don't know, Celesta? I want to double check. Yeah, there, yeah, but there's always something that may pop in for one of those things, possibly on the 18th even. Um, let's see. Celasta, I don't remember if it's Celasta or Ghost of Saltmarsh, so give me a minute here. It is Celasta, so we have another day of Celasta, so that's 4 p.m. Eastern, which is good because we're closing in on the end of that game. So 4 p.m. Eastern uh, on Tuesday the 8th will be Celasta, Crown of the Magister, and then we've got Planescape Torment. Uh, Community D&D, &D, I'm going to move that back uh, temporarily. I'm going to shift that back to the 16th, um, but that, again, is very, it's up in the air. It depends on when Shadow's computer gets in play and when everything else happens. So we will hopefully have the Shadow crew back sooner rather than later. That'll be happening uh, soon. Thursday will be off. Friday, we've got Esper Genesis. Saturday, we've got Eberron Oracle of War. And then we get into some Adventures Middle Earth. We're going to have a lot of uh, tabletop stuff coming up soon. Um, starting on the 11th, we've got Esper Genesis, Eberron, then we've got the following week, Adventures of Middle-Earth, Ghosts of Saltmarsh, D&D with GOG. Then we've got the conclusion of Midwinter's Morning from Critical Crafting with uh, Prince Justin and Trippity Matz and Sean Duke. And then we've got, uh, again, more Eberron coming up on the 19th. Uh, and then we have Sound Clash the Clampdown happening on the 20th. So we're going to have a lot of tabletop stuff happening in the middle of the month. That's going to be good times. Um, so that's what we've got going on. But right now, what I have to do is uh, rise up on up and head off to bed. And I'll have to double check. I, I'm going to look in to see what I can find out about what's going on with the uh, capture card. I mean, it's it's very minor. Like you can barely tell 
Um, but there are definitely cutouts. There were probably a good 15 or 20 of them that happened during the stream today. Um, they don't affect the, they didn't affect the video today. It's just the audio cuts out for like, I don't know, less than a second. I mean, maybe a half second. Um, and I don't know what that's from. I've made every adjustment I can. So I don't think it's happening just from the Retron. I'll have to see what happens if I try it out on the switch, but it was doing it as well on the PC. So I think it's something going on with my capture card and or the sort of like regular PC setup. And I don't know, I'll have to I'll have to troubleshoot it and see what I can what, what I can figure out um, what might be wrong with it. Because up to this point, the live gamer duo that I have has worked great. But um, last couple of weeks has been doing something weird. Anyway, so that's what we got going on. Going to be a lot of good stuff. Also, this coming Tuesday, I should have a pretty significant announcement regarding the Gray Shade Kickstarter dates. I'm going to have a meeting about that on Monday. And so the following day, Tuesday, if not then, then definitely Friday, I'll be able to talk more about specific dates. You know about some of them already. Gray Shade is going to be published on May 31st, but publication for that, that's the publication for that. But then the Kickstarter release is happening later that year and probably during the summer. And so I'll I'll have the exact dates for that for you uh, within the next week, which is going to be exciting. How long have I had this capture card? The Avermedia Gamer Duo, uh, like a year, I think. I think only a year. Why? Do you think it could be something that's burning out or something like that? As far as I know, it's only a year, I think. And I mean, I looked into, you know, there were other, yeah, I've only had it a year, maybe a year and a half, but definitely not more than that. Um, and, you know, in previous time, I looked into like other things like the Elgato Camlink Pro and stuff like that. The problem with the Camlink Pro is that it doesn't have a pass through. So yeah, nearing end of life. I mean, it could be, but I mean, based on what? Just like, I mean... I don't know, I guess, like, I mean, I use the capture card for streaming purposes. I use it to capture my Switch. I use it to capture my PS5, although the PS4 rather. I use it to capture my Retron. I use it to capture my PC, um, but my gaming PC. But I mean, I don't do those things. I don't know. I don't do them that much. I mean, I guess is you know, however much I'm streaming in that time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take a look into it and see. Um, you know, I really like the card, so I don't want it to be broken, but um, it's... And also, I don't want to have to throw around money that I don't need to, but I don't know. We will we will find out. In any case, uh, I will look into that and we'll see. But in the meantime, I'm going to rise up on out of here and uh, head off to bed, and then I will see you folks tomorrow, Sunday, for Speculate and the uh, spectacular uh, premiere, I should say, first session of the, uh, again, Girl by Moonlight Fractal Spire. So you'll want to be here for that. Uh, I want to thank all of the wonderful folks who made this a wonderful stream. Remember, to please, to follow the channel. Check out my YouTube with exclamation point ArvTube, Discord with exclamation point ArvCord, Twitter with exclamation point ArvTweets, website ArvinellaRun.com, exclamation point ArvShop for my merchandise area, exclamation point ArvTreon for the Patreon. Please support that. Going above 200 would be really great. Really trying to push that and, uh, you know, make... That really is the financial backbone of the channel, so it makes it possible for me to do a bunch of the stuff that I do here. So thank you for the support you can have that. Plus, you get good stuff for that and good stuff you can get as well for subscribing or resubscribing to the channel. So thank you uh, to Prince Justin for giving a sub um, to someone tonight. I don't remember who it was, but uh, Marinda, actually, um, for giving a uh, sub to Marinda because that's much appreciated. So thank you, Prince Justin. And to all those who have subbed and resubbed in the last couple of weeks, thank you, thank you. Also, you can get some custom sub badges and emotes as well, um, which uh, are awesome and inspirations to help use with the tabletop players. So all of that is good stuff. On the publishing side, exclamation point Icarus for my Icarus graphic novel, exclamation point library for my Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library, my 5e adventure and source book, Alligator Alley does does that. Athos Arts does the Icarus book, and those two together are going to be heavily involved in my Gray Shade Kickstarter. More details about that at exclamation point Gray Shade KS, and that command is going to be updated soon when we get the dates and all that kind of stuff that I talked about coming soon, TM. Um, and uh, last but certainly not least, exclamation point BLM, Black Lives Matter. Very important to affirm and assert the significance and importance of black lives, and exclamation point help now, the World Health Organization page on suicide prevention. Very 
important to reach out to others when you need help and to reach out to others when they need help as well. That's going to be it for me. Um, it's very late and uh, we people have gone to sleep and are heading off. So I don't think we'll do a raid tonight. We will try to do a raid, if not tomorrow, then definitely on Tuesday. Um, so make sure that you stop by for that. But again, don't forget to stop by on Sunday, again, between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern for uh, the next uh, installment of The Strange Friends with our new Speculate campaign of Girl by Moonlight Fractal Spire. You will not want to miss that. Thank you to my wonderful mods, to Dragon Spear, to Shadowed Mage. Shadowed, I hope I'm giving doing some justice to uh, your game of Golden Sun. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you as well to my regular subscribers. Thank you and Patreon supporters. Thank you to Dragon Spear, to Shadowed Mage, to Kooky Canuck, Mrs. Dunsell, Prince Justin. Thanks again to all of you lovely folks and Arudinel as well, who for some reason isn't showing up as a mod here, I think because the way Chatty does things. Thank you to my wonderful viewers. Thank you to Elyon Gamer. Thank you to John D. J. Rab again is also mod. I don't know why he's listed in there. Thank you to Lakaley. Thank you Lakaley. Thank you to Lenaray. Thank you to Lori Pub. Thank you to Okiron. Thank you to P. Uh, Pacom. Thank you to Raj. Thank you to Sega Dream. To Swarm of Cats and H. H. Swartz. Thank you everybody so much for all the love and support. And uh, more Golden Sun to come. Otherwise, more Tabletop to come over the next few days. That's going to do it for me. Thanks, everyone. Much love. And I will see all you folks soon. Until then, be good to each other. Have a good day.